Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the British royal family, and today I'll be talking about Harry's wife's visible contempt and hatred for him, and what I think is coming next. During the recent interview, it looks as though Harry went off script and Meghan couldn't hide her anger. She obviously didn't have her buzzer to zap Harry as to when he could speak or not speak, or else he was just ignoring it. They are now trying to tell people how to bring up children, and yet there is no sign of their own children, and the more they talk about it, the more people are questioning, where are theirs? It's more evident than ever that these two people are not close in any way. So much for being madly in love, there was none of that evident at all, not even trying to act. It's more evident than ever that these two are not close in any way. Their sit-down interview with Jane Pauley for CBS Sunday Morning will be about their new initiative centred around children and social media, which will launch next week. So we've had a brief taste of this, and with Meghan's looks that could kill in the very short piece of video we've seen, it shows that she can no longer keep up the pretense. She is distancing herself even more from Harry by implying that she has nothing to do with his legal security battle, which does involve her and their children, allegedly, because now she's putting it out there that she wishes Harry could let go of his legal security battle, and then she's saying that they don't need it. It's almost like a convenient near miss of a kidnapping or similar is on the cards, especially as she's also making it known exactly what jewellery she's wearing and how much it's worth. Wherever she goes, she's making sure that the papers are putting out how much her jewellery is worth. Also, for someone who's worried about security, why are they going to the most dangerous countries in the world? I think this is all part of the plan. Remember when she was in the UK complaining about their security, or rather lack of, and what does she do? She rolls down the car window so that the photographers can get better pictures of her. I really think that we're going to hear of a near miss, so to speak. I can't imagine anyone actually kidnapping Meghan and hanging on to her for a very long time, can you? But just as they had an alleged New York car chase, which was an absolute joke, and it was very quickly proven to be fake because of the impossibility to have any sort of car chase in New York City, and the video footage of them just sat there in a traffic jam proves they lied. She's definitely gearing up for a dramatic event. When his wife is talking and gesticulating, Harry looks emotionless. He really looks as though he's lost his personality. There's nothing behind his eyes anymore. I wonder if the whole interview is CGI because it seems very off to me. The whole subject matter has viewers in disbelief. How could this couple possibly give advice to anyone about anything, let alone about children and online abuse? When you think about Harry and Meghan's fans and the abuse that they have levelled at William, Catherine and their children, why has an interviewer never challenged them? and also never challenged them as to why they're never with their children. Harry's talk of being first responders for children is ludicrous. It's obviously a title he wants to apply to himself, because his brother, of whom he's intensely jealous and competitive with, was a first responder for the air ambulance. Prince William actually saved lives and didn't give interviews bragging about it. As some have said, what has Meghan ever done lately except wear expensive jewellery? That's her big achievement. I would go so far as to bait that, as I know she has copies of Diana's jewellery, not the real thing. Check out my older video on that. I'll include the link at the end and also in the description. Prince William made sure she had no access to his mother's jewellery. So next on the list is probably a narrow escape and an elaborate story 
of how there was an, a kidnap attempt on one of the Invisi kids, or Megan herself even. Can't wait to see what they come up with. There's an alleged statement from the Vice President of Columbia regarding Harry and Meghan and how they have kindly accepted his invitation to visit his country. This is yet another fake royal tour and there will be many that will believe that it's genuine. This will be connected apparently to a global ministerial conference on ending violence against children which is to be held in Colombia in November. He talks about creating a safer online environment and mentions that Harry and Meghan, as well as the Archwell Foundation, will engage in several activities related to that important topic. He finishes off by saying, and I quote, We are confident that their visit will further illuminate Colombia's role as a beacon of culture and innovation, end quote. King Charles allegedly, along with Prince William, had written letters to the leaders of Commonwealth countries. This was after the Nigeria tour to suggest that they don't invite Harry and Meghan and they don't allow them to have their pretend royal tours in their countries. This means now that they're going for non-Commonwealth countries, obviously. So what's next after Colombia, North Korea? They complain about security or lack of. What will they be doing in these countries regarding security? How many more of these fake royal tours do we actually have to endure? I do think that it's great material for another South Park episode. Can you imagine? Harry and Meghan's world tour of dangerous countries, starting in Colombia, where they both try the local specialities, so to speak, much to Harry's joy, and Meghan flaunts her jewels with a sign saying, kidnap me. So let me have your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.